liberal rioter tells judge he can't go to jail. That conversation did not go as expected A liberal activist previously convicted for participating in violence against police and rescue services violated his probation and was facing actual jail time. He argued with the judge that jail time shouldn't be a punishment for someone like him. And in a ruling that should have every American fuming, the judge agreed. Let's be clear here, this man was convicted for violence against public servants, then he broke his probation, with lots of drug use in between, and the judge gives him more probation. Read this from Blue Lives Matter, if you can keep from throwing your computer through the window in a fit of rage, a man who was front and center during the Baltimore rioting in 2015 and punctured a fire hose, has once again received leniency and will not have to serve time for probation violations. Greg Butler, now 23, showed up wearing a gas mask and riding a bicycle at rioting in the city's Penn North neighborhood on April 27, 2015, according to the Baltimore Sun. Firefighters were battling an out-of-control blaze started by rioters at a CVS pharmacy. When Butler first stepped on a fire hose, then cut it twice with a serrated knife. He was indicted in December 2015 but wasn't sentenced until November 2016. Butler pled guilty to obstructing firefighters during a civil disorder and was sentenced to three years of supervised release, probation, with one year in prison that was suspended. That means if he violated probation, he should automatically have to go to prison for a year. He did not abide by all of the rules set for his probation and committed violations including positive drug tests for marijuana and PCP and failure to pay $100 per month in restitution. At a hearing on Tuesday, September 5, federal prosecutors asked for his suspended one-year prison term to be activated. Federal prison terms are different than state prison terms because there is no probation or early release from a person's sentence. The entire sentence for a federal conviction has to be served. Butler came to court on Tuesday and asked U.S. District Judge J. Frederick Mott not to give him active time. He asked Judge Mott for leniency because he has a 14-month-old son and another child on the way. He continued with excuses for his behavior and said that, although he was working for his uncle's contracting business, that he couldn't pay his restitution. He also said that he used drinking and marijuana as a way to escape life's problems, that his mother was a heroin addict and his father was a functioning alcoholic. Judge Mott ignored Butler's initial sentence and did not allow the federal prosecutor's request and instead gave Butler three additional years of probation. Liberalism is ruining this country.